Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to show you how to play music on your Twitch stream, but not hear it yourself. And I found this using the Elgato Wave 3, which is a microphone that I've unboxed and reviewed recently, and I'll link to that video in the description. This is possible with other software, but I want to show you how to do it with the Wave 3 because this bit of kit comes with software that's specifically designed to route the audio. <laughs> Basically means that you can change audio settings on your stream so that you can adjust the audio of your microphone, the audio of the game, and the audio of Spotify, for example. In this example, I'm going to be using Harris Heller's Stream Beats as a collection of copyright-free music that you can use on Spotify and pull that into your stream without worrying about getting copyright strikes against you. Check out Alpha Gaming on YouTube. They do some brilliant videos that include tips on this sorts of things. And obviously the Elgato Wave 3, a premium high quality microphone, USB, brilliant bit of kit, really nice microphone. But what I want to show is the software behind this mic that allows you to route audio in different ways to then improve the sound and wonder of your Twitch streams. So here is the Wavelink software. On the left hand side I have Spotify. Now in this Wavelink software you'll see you have various different settings here. The Wave 3 is one of those inputs. You then have system sounds, voice chat, game chat and two spare ones. In this you have at the bottom you'll note outputs you have monitor mix and stream mix, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, if you click on this little icon here, you get at volume preference settings that allow you to tweak certain things. In here at the top, you select output, which is your main headset or whatever you use to hear your audio on. In my case, SX5 Gamer headset. And the microphone is set to the Elgato Wave 3 as the input device. You then need to check window sound settings to make sure that's the same and you've got the same marrying up of devices. Now in here you'll see a number of different apps and I've got Spotify Premium here. I set that output to be Wavelink Music. Now that's a bit of a scroll down here but you'll see there are a number of different ones. Basically what I'm doing is telling this software to link up with the Wavelink software and then I'm going to feed the music through this channel. I'm essentially routing the audio through the software before it then goes into Streamlabs OBS. And you can use this with OBS Studio as well. Other things you can do is you can do Discord as Wavelink voice chat. And obviously the game as Wavelink game. And then you can set them all up individually. Now I go back into here and I add a source of music. And I select that Wavelink music. Now I start to play it and you can see it's starting to play on both the monitor mix and the stream mix. You know you can adjust the audio between the two and if you see the little green ear that's highlighted in the bottom right hand corner of the monitor mix and stream mix you can click between those two and adjust it. Now there here up on the right hand side underneath music you'll see there's a headphone icon and then what is a streaming icon and you can essentially adjust the levels that you're hearing versus what your audience is hearing. So if you minimize the amount that you're hearing on your side then you can set it so you basically hear none of the music that's playing while your audience does hear it. Now reasons you might want to do this is you might want to have some entertaining background music playing on your Twitch stream but you don't necessarily want that from preventing you hearing in-game sounds so if you're playing a competitive first person shooter for example you will need to be able to hear enemy movement, footsteps, sounds of guns reloading, enemies interacting with the environment, stuff like that but you might still want some background music to make your stream a bit more interesting and a bit more entertaining when you're not talking or when you're just doing something that isn't particularly that interesting to start with. And so setting that up is obviously a bonus. You can adjust the level so you can still just about hear the music, you make sure it's still working, but you can also switch between monitor mix and streaming mix and you can click on that to hear what your audience is hearing. You can also do this within Stream Deck software, which is worth knowing as well. Now when you go into Streamlabs OBS, you go into your audio settings to add in the wavelength. It basically goes under the mic slash auxiliary device. So you click on the wavelength stream 
and you'll see that then pulls that audio in and the whole thing, all those different audio channels that you set up in Wavelink are then in your mixer on Streamlabs rather than individual channels for each of them that you'd normally have. For example, you might have your mic, desktop audio, game audio, chat audio and things like that. It's all in one place and then it's all adjusted within the Wavelink software and customized the way you want it, but you can still see it displaying within Streamlabs OBS, but you can then monitor it within the Wavelength stuff. And that then allows you to make sure your levels are all right and you can hear what your audience is going to hear so you can monitor things a bit better. But it also means that you can put music on and not have to hear it yourself. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.